In this video, we'll look at Mint KDE, and we'll look mostly at the trash. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Dolphin, and I'll look at trash right here. And a couple of things to notice. First, there's no empty trash item, but there is a Create Folder. If I hit Create Folder, I can click OK, and it just gives me an error. If I click away from here, click back to it, the error is gone, but it just gives me an error. Creating folders is not supported with Protocol Trash. Just a really odd way of wording it. And there's no way of emptying the trash. Well, maybe there will be once we put something in the trash. So we'll move it over. On the desktop, we'll say create new text file. And we'll just call it text file. I'll open that up. And I don't need to show tips. And I will close that. And I'll just go ahead and put Fred in there. And I will save it. Close it. And let's just make sure it worked fine. Fred. Two. Save. Great. Works great. I'll move over here. Drag it over. Do you really want to move this item to the trash? Sure. We'll move it over to the trash. There still is create folder. No empty folder. Well, I really don't want to delete that, so I'm going to move it over here. Move it back. Text file. Let's go ahead and make another edit to it. I will put, instead of a 2, I will put a 3 there, and then I'll save it. The document cannot be saved as it was not possible to write to home snit desktop text file. Check that you have write access to this file or that enough disk space is available. It doesn't let me write to the file anymore. Well, we're just going to say discard the changes for now. Let's go ahead and try this with another program. We'll go ahead, go into Applications, and then into Office, and then into LibreOffice Writer. And there we go, and we'll just put in the same thing, Fred, and we'll save this. Desktop is fine, and save. Okay. Again, we'll go ahead and do a quick test, make sure that we can go ahead and change it. I'll put a two at the end, and I will save it. Saves just fine, and close it. I will now come over and bring it to the trash. Yes, I really want it to go there and I will take it out of the trash. And then I'll open it up again, and it opens in read-only mode. I can't edit this file anymore. Well, why is that? Because moving it to the trash and moving it out to the trash changes the permissions. So if I go over to permissions, it's now saying can read. I have to go back and change that to can read and write, and then I can close it. I can do the same thing here. Properties, permissions, can read and write. Why? That's just kind of odd. But if I open it now, yes, I can change it. We'll put that as a three. We could save it. And now I can change it. I could do the same thing with the other. But you have to fix the permissions. That really makes no sense. Let's take a look at a couple of other things. We have a text file and an untitled one. Let's create another file on the desktop. Create text file. It just gives it the same name, text file. Then it comes up saying, file already exists. Well, no, I'm in the middle of creating it. No file exists at this point. I haven't created it yet. This action will overwrite the destination, warning the destination is more recent. The destination is more recent than the file I have not yet created? That makes no sense. So here's my source. Here's my destination. Rename. I could say suggest new name. And then rename. I'm not really renaming anything because I haven't named it yet. I'm still in the process of creating it. This is one of the most confusing dialogues I've seen. It's, it really makes very little sense. And I could then go ahead and do it, and I can create my text file one. Every time you create a text file, if you just click OK here, it will do that same thing. Suggest new name. It already exists. It doesn't exist. Rename. I'm not really renaming anything. And then it does its thing and creates it. Really bizarre the way that works. Next thing I wanted to show, I'm going to close this. We'll open up Dolphin. Okay, Dolphin opens up there in the upper left. I'll move it over here, close it, reopen it. Where's it going to open? Exactly where it opened before. It doesn't remember its position at all. The other thing I noticed, let's go ahead. I'm going to create a new folder. And I'll call it just new folder. That works for me. Select all of these files. Just drag them in. Move them there. It's really, do you need to ask this every time? But okay, move them into there open them up, and if I hit preview, 
nothing really changes. So I was curious if I could get anything to change in here. So I'll go ahead, drag this over here to the right, and then we'll go ahead and we'll open up a web browser. And there it is. And I'll go ahead, pull this over to the left. Good. And I want to look for images and I will just look for Tux logo. Nice, simple image to look for. There it is, and I will view the image. And now I just want to pull this into there, see if you know, preview does something for that. When I pull it over, look at what it does. Do I want to move here, copy here, or link here? Well, if I say move here, how am I moving it? How am I moving it from a website, from Wikipedia? Makes no sense. When I say move here, the resource cannot be deleted. Well, of course I can't delete stuff from Wikipedia. That just is silly. But there it is, and now we will see Preview does do something. It goes ahead and gives me the view right there, and I can even enlarge that and shrink it, and Preview will show me the larger one. But it does not show me the preview of these text files. One of these text files I had text in doesn't show me. The LibreOffice file, it doesn't preview. So Preview shows me Preview of images, but that's really about it.